How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Said. Welcome back to Terraria. It's been forever. I know it has, but, um, yeah, we're back now because of the fact that I was able to get my save file from my computer, just like with EU4. So, we are back now in our world. I did not have to restart anything. I didn't have to do anything. I might have done some stuff off camera, but it's been so long that I actually can't remember. Uh, I had these walls in, but I think I had those for two episodes now. The recording looks pretty good. I tested it out a little bit. It's the first time recording on this computer. It looks a lot better than EU4 did in comparison to the last computer. EU4 looks okay, but it's a little laggy. I'll have to figure that out. If you're a fan of that series, I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot I don't have the grappling hook yet in this file. Ugh. My off-camera file on my laptop. I've been playing quite a bit while I was waiting, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, anything else new? I mean, I, I let's see, I tore one of these down, so we'll put that back up there. I don't remember exactly what was going on in this world, so you guys are going to have to forgive me for that. Yeah, I hadn't made it to the bottom of the world yet. I was working on that. I was also doing stuff, but you know what, for this episode, this isn't going to be that long of an episode, but for now, let's just go down there. Okay, yeah, I made this to farm up vine rope. Let's go down and see what we can do. You need to get some better armor, because that's one of the first things you need to do if you want to, like, start, uh, excelling. I don't know what the word is. Yeah, if you just want to start getting, being able to, uh, survive, you know? I think that's probably one of the best things. Okay, right, there we go. Okay, I don't remember exactly what was going on down here. But it looks pretty nasty. Too close to ground and stuff for my likings. Okay, well, let's just keep going, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a little sick, as you can probably tell. I'm sorry if that bothers you. Don't worry. I promise I won't get you sick. Because that is, like, impossible. So, yeah. Alright, let's just throw a couple of those down. Throw a couple of those down, baby. Throw a couple of dollars down. I've been thinking about starting an EU, not an EU4, CK2 I already have an EU4 series. I've been thinking about starting a CK2 series. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on that? I would like to know because um, the CK2, I think, has come back a little bit. I don't think it ever went away, really, but I think that people are like, oh, man, let's go play some more CK2. Ooh, let's go this way. I want to see what I can see in the world. Okay, underwater, underwater, above water. Oh, I'm marble territory or snow. I can't really tell going so fast. Wow, this goes a long ways. What is this? That's like, I'm pretty sure this is granite. Yeah, granite is annoying. I don't want to, eh, probably don't want to stay there because of granite, granite. The granite elementals and stuff, so let's just put stuff all along here, though. Alright, just to mark it, you know, for future reference. Alright, cool. So I know I've been that way next time I go through there. Now, let's go this way. <coughs> right away we have some water. That's all, just water. Ah, fudge. Uh, glow stick, glow stick, glow stick. I don't have a glow stick. Gosh darn it. Can't see a darn thing. Jeez. That was bad. Oh my god. Come on. Really need some more health too. Should really work on that whenever I can. Uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, that kind of sucks. I had a, I had so much money. Oh, we have to go back for that. There's no way I'm leaving, I'm letting that go. <coughs> That's so many bombs I could buy. Really wish I had some Hermes boots or, you know, something. Really need to get this file going, you know, get, get some lucky, some lucky stuff. We're pretty early on, so I need something to put me over the top for the early game, and then I will be fine. When cave bats are killing you that easily, you got a problem. Gosh darn it. I'll race you down, buddy. To hell. Oh. Okay. I mean, like, 
there is like a landscape at the bottom called hell, so you know, it's not completely BSing right now. Ah, oh, fudge! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where's that effing bat? It stole my money, which I didn't even know was possible until a while ago, but. Where's that effing bat? Where'd my money go? Wait, was it down here? It's not down there. F me. Oh, that's so annoying. Gosh darn it. You know what? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I took the minecart with me. Um, we're going to buy some more explosives anyways. With uh, whatever money left we have. So I knew we had... It took away... It took away... It takes away like half of your money. So I knew I had quite a bit still. But still, it's kind of annoying. We're going to do that. That. How much money did the topaz give us? Oh, enough to buy like a couple more. Any more? Pretty sure it's just one silver, right? Okay, I was clicking the wrong button. I'm out of practice, apparently. Like I said, I've been playing some, but apparently not enough. Really would like Hermes boots or something, so one sec. I want to see something. So we made it to the crimson on that side. I didn't fight it, though, because it was too strong. I made it to the ocean on that side. So we have a couple choices. We could either go and explore or keep mining, so... Uh, since we don't have Hermes boots, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to try to, f hopefully I'll find a couple more underground little houses or whatever those things are where there's the golden chest, because they could contain Hermes boots a lot of the time. That would be very nice. Let's see, what else are we looking for? I mean, anything really. Hooks? Any hook would help tremendously. Oh, hey, Medusa, what's up, girl? Oh, baby, you're gonna die. That was, uh, that could have gone a lot worse, actually. <laughs> it went surprisingly well. What is that? No, I thought it was like a head of a thingy. I don't know. Okay. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot. I'm just, like I said, I'm a little sick. It makes me a little bit less talkative. Uh, in recent news, let's talk about the elections coming up. So, like, Donald Trump and stuff, you know. He's a, an interesting guy. So, I consider myself conservative. But I don't know if I consider myself a Trump fan. Um, so, like, I think... I think he is he's a very he's a smart guy. He's a smart economist. He is a... I like, uh... I like non-liberal economies. I like conservative economies a lot I think that's what is best for the nation as a whole I, I just think that's the best type of economy to have in my short experience of life so I, I don't know what I'm saying is don't take my word take my word with a grain of salt but I do feel that a conservative economy is the best um, however I don't think that Donald Trump is the the most like tactful of people <laughs> I don't think I'm making a controversial statement by saying that. And I think to be doing diplomatic things, sorry, I was concentrating, listening for that stupid worm. I think you have to be a president, you have to be able to be diplomatic, which is the right word. Tactful is good too, but yeah, diplomatic. You need to be diplomatic, know when to say things, not to say things, and I think that's one thing that where that are uh, that Donald Trump is lacking in. So, yeah, that's that's I got to say that. So, let's see. What else is there? Um about Donald Trump, I mean. So, I don't know. It's just it's funny watching the debates. I watched like on the uh, what was it? The uh what show was it? There's one of the late night shows that had him on as a guest and it was pretty funny. <laughs> Made me laugh quite a bit. Uh, we do have the climbing shoes, which I didn't realize. There's also a salamander, which I lucked out on not having... I'm dead. Yeah, I kind of knew that was coming. Well, 
Oh, there was a trap. It wasn't even. I knew it wasn't the salamander that killed me. I just couldn't see anything, so I assumed it was something else like a, as deadly as the salamander. But it was not. Hmm. Well. Let's see here. We have a trident, which I probably should be using more. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see. What else? It's about to be nighttime. Yeah, okay, that was crazy. I was. I, I was thinking, is it about to be daytime? No. Is it like dawn? No, it's uh, about to be nighttime. Alright, where do we want to go then? I don't know. Eh. I guess we'll go, like, mining and stuff. I guess that's the only thing. So I guess we'll mine and stuff, and I'll talk about, um, I don't know, my thoughts on life. So, what what do we talk about, though? That's the problem. And I'm a terrible person for not having anything to, to, to talk about. Let's see. Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars is pretty dope, but I talked about that a lot. You know what? Here, let's talk about another really nerdy thing. Lord of the Rings. So my building is doing a uh, my dorm is doing a Lord of the Rings marathon, where they're gonna watch the whole original trilogy in one day, and it must be it it is yeah it's the extended versions. So the extended versions are each like an hour longer. So that's a lot of Lord of the Rings. Like, I think the total length is... I never even saw this. Oh, I'm glad I came over here. F me. Um, the total length of the thing, of the whole trilogy, with the uh, extended edition, is 13 hours. 13 gosh darn hours. And that is pretty ridiculous. But, yeah, let's see. Oh, we have the flipper. I didn't, re I didn't remember that. Spike depth meter, claws, compass. We don't really need the compass. 13 hours is pretty ridiculous for a uh, one trilogy. And, you know, I mean, the Star Wars trilogy is maybe like six hours. And it puts it in perspective. Nah, it's a little more than that. Maybe it's like maybe seven hours. I'm talking about the original. But um, I'm trying to think, actually. How long is it? Because I'm not sure if that was right. I might have just lied to you guys. Alright, we need to get back up here. Wee! Oh, fudge. Oh, hey, Mother Slime. Yeah, I'm gonna die again. Well then, I died again. Uh, the thing is, I don't really know what I want to do, because I'm too weak to really go go out and explore. But yeah, anyway, so Lord of the Rings is pretty good, and I might be going to like part of that marathon. I'm definitely not going to go to the whole thing, because that would be insane. That would be crazy to do that. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe I just am the right amount of crazy for that. <laughs> I don't know. But it's going to be fun either way. I like My favorite movie out of the trilogy is The Two Towers. I just love like the Battle of Helm's Deep. That is such an awesome scene of a movie. Like the little the dude. Do you remember the dude who has the fire? The orc dude who has the fire and he, uh, the, the TNT explosives. And they're like, what is that? They're like, what sorcery is this? And then this guy just comes up. This orc dude comes up with the, the fire and just goes, BOOM! Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that. I I wonder, I often wonder to myself, when was that movie, like, set? Is it supposed to be around, like, the time of the Crusades or before then, like, the Dark Ages? Uh, I'm not really sure, like, if it were in a time today, like, or, you know, a time that corresponded to our timeline what day would it have been like what time what days would it have been in like the the age of the crusaders the age of um i don't know the the dark ages or what i, I don't know that's the problem bro i don't know all right let's just uh, shoot these guys with arrows for now zombies zombies are interesting you know you ever got you guys ever think about how big of a part of like pop culture and stuff zombies have been on for the past, like, I don't know, maybe 25 years, and especially, but, like, not, new, that's when they really got big, I don't know, but then, um, before that, they were already, like, a thing. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead is, like, one of the first big zombie movies, in fact, that's, like, the classic, you know, and so, think about it, like, that's, a, how long ago was that, that was the 60s, right, it was in the 50s, either way, that's pretty old, and then nowadays, think about it. It was a pretty big hit, but think about now. The Walking Dead is like one of the largest hits on like television, probably. Like I'm, I'm, I don't, I might be exaggerating, but I don't think I am. Like it's just huge, 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 huge. You, I saw you come up for me. 
And zombies are pretty cool. Uh, there's always it's always interesting like the zombie spectrum because people have different interpretations of what zombies would be like if they were real. Uh, like some people say, like you know, they was, uh, they would be it would be an infection, and they would um, bite people. People would like get a bad fever and then eventually like go drop dead. <laughs> And then after that, then they would, uh, then they would turn back into a zombie after they died and were dead for a while, like three days or however long the, the certain people talking are, uh, saying it would be. So anyways, I think that's interesting to think about, how long would zombies be alive for? Uh, and, or, how would zombies come alive again? What am I talking about? But, like, there's other ways. Um, let's see. Like, in Night of the Living Dead, it was just the fact that they were coming out of tombstones. You know, it was dead people rising from the grave, literally, to come and haunt people. Um, although not, like, intentionally haunt people. It was random, but they did haunt people in general. I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying, right? You guys know what I'm saying. Speaking of that, did everyone ever re realize, like, the black dude at the end? It was, like, it was, like, really sad. If you ever seen Night of the Living Dead, the black dude at the end is the only one to live because he was, like, the most prepared and the not least craziest. He had to kill, like, a little girl or something like that. And then, like, he, it shows him in the morning after this long night. The police are going through in, like, a, com like a oh, what's it called? Uh, a line where they, like, you know, like they do when they're looking for clues or looking for someone. Uh, uh, what is it? Gosh darn it, what's the name of that, like, formation? Just a line, you know, where they're all lined up, they're walking through the woods and stuff, and then this dude has killed a whole bunch of zombies, like, throughout the whole night, survived the whole night. Ooh, I knocked my headphones out. No, zombie. Stop, stop. I was distracted. Um, yeah, and then, and then he's killed a whole bunch of zombies, and there's a pile of them in the middle of the floor, and he's still alive. And then all of a sudden, then the, then they, they see him, the police officers see him, and he sees them, and then they think he's a zombie, so they shoot him after all this time that he survived, and he's the only one to survive out of, like, eight people or so. And then and then they just shoot him from long range because they think he's a zombie. Like, and they, there's no way of knowing either. It pissed me off. It was like, I was like, oh my god, they just shot him. That's so sad, and it pisses me off, and now I want to, like, go and, like, make sure, make like, write a law saying that police officers should, uh, you know, like, look before they shoot. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, like, they do anyways, so I'm just teasing, but if you can't tell, I'm teasing about that. But, yeah, that, that ticked me off. I was like, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this just happened. Okay, ow! Don't flick me off, dude. I'll F you in the butt. All right, cool, cool. So, anyways... Yeah, those are my, that's my thoughts on zombies in the Night of the Living Dead. What about, like, Shaun of the Dead? I've actually never seen that movie. I'm guessing it's about a guy named Shaun, but, you know. Uh, then there's, like, what uh, what other movies are there? Yeah, you know, in, uh, in Walking Dead, I, I saw, I, I watched Walking Dead a while ago. Not the whole show, though. I watched, like, two seasons. And then the third one, my mom, my mom and I watched it together, that's right. And, um, and then we got to, like, season three, and it's, like, it starts off with, like, Herschel getting his leg chopped off. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? This is way too gruesome, like, even for Walking Dead. And I just couldn't watch anymore after that point. Like, me and my mom both just kind of were like, eh, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was kind of how I got turned off from Walking Dead, um, after watching it for quite a while. Yeah, you know, speaking of Herschel, the guy, the actor, all right, all right, don't believe, you might not believe me, but, like, if you ever seen, so, like, all right, so, the actor who plays Herschel in The Walking Dead, he's been an actor for a while, and his first movie, I believe, or one of his first movies was the original, um, The Great Gatsby movie, which came out, like, in the 70s, and he was the, uh, he was the kid at like the the gas the gas station mechanic station place, where they um yeah the gas station mechanic place I don't know what it was it was like a service station I guess in every sense of the word 
Oh, I'll show you my service station. Yeah, it was a service station, and he was the guy there. And it's a pretty major character. It's it's a minor character, but it's like the most major of the minor characters possibly. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. It probably doesn't, but yeah. So, anyways, that's funny that you can tell the, that it's the same actor too because it looks the exact same. Oh, that feels so nice. Just get wrecked. Yeah, but anyways, that's pretty funny actually. Speaking of The Great Gatsby, I haven't seen the new one still with Leonardo DiCaprio and stuff. I don't know what it is about Leonardo DiCaprio, but he just like, I'm like, ew, like, I don't like him. I don't like his acting. And there's nothing wrong with him. I'm sure he's like a cool guy, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure, actually, but like, I just don't like his acting style. I don't know what it is about me, about him that like, I just don't like, so yeah. Sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio, if you're watching this. If I ever become, like, a famous YouTuber, I don't want this to, like, count as slander or anything, bruh. Like, it's not personal. I just, I don't know why I just don't like your acting style, really. I've never even seen lots of your, like, greatest movies, uh, supposedly. I've never seen Titanic. Um, uh, yeah. You know, who was the actress in Titanic? I don't even remember. Although I know that the, I don't know. Speaking of actresses, what about, like, actresses you never hear anything about? Like, Jennifer Connelly, she was the actress in, uh, Labyrinth, just if you, if you didn't know. Um, and if you've never seen Labyrinth, that's amazing, but I'll get to that later. Yeah, so Jennifer Connelly, you never hear about her anymore. I think she was in, like, one other, like, fairly okay movie. It was, like, a, like a chick flick, kind of, maybe. Oh, yeah, well, here we go. I didn't really want this, but, you know, that's okay. We'll just kind of waltz through here. Labyrinth is an amazing movie. If you guys haven't seen that, you need to. David Bowie is the, like the bad guy. David Bowie, if you don't know, is like a musician in the 80s. He has so many in the 70s. Um, I don't want to snub him. He has a lot of great music, and it's so good. And then the mu it's like a music semi-musical. It's not really a musical. There's just a couple songs by him in there. Like the soundtrack is uh, David Bowie and stuff. Um, Mostly David Bowie stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure all of it is actually. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not 100% on that. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good movie. I like it a lot. It's like probably one of my favorite movies. But um. But you never hear about. Oh, this is bad. There's gonna be those spiders down here somewhere. But you never hear about Jennifer Connelly more. But but like like I was saying, I was mostly just talking about Labyrinth at this point. So I'm gonna continue. Um, it's pretty good because it's, I don't know, it is Jim Henson puppets, a lot of them, and they're really cool looking, and they're not like other Jim Henson puppets, like, they don't have the generic Jim Henson look, they actually, like, are all designed, you can tell they were all designed equally, like, in other words, they all were, they all were unique, and that is pretty cool that Jim Henson did that, and then it's, like, produced by, like, Steven Spielberg or something like that, I don't know about that, it was produced by... I think it was actually though. It's it's a good movie. You should watch it. It's like fantasy if you like um, legend or let's see what other movies could you like if you like yeah. Speaking of legend, that was like Tom Cruise's like big break. Did you guys know that? Or was it or was it uh yeah I think that was like his big break. Tom Cruise is in that man. We're going like around all the actors and stuff today. Let's see Tom Cruise in that. That's a pretty good movie. Um. The big horn dude in it was, like, it's pretty iconic. Like, lots of people have, like, little icons of him and stuff, even if they've never seen the movie. Um, he was, like, and so so with with that, it's interesting. If you didn't know, Legend is uh, it's a very, like, Zelda-esque movie. And lots of people, there was actually, like, a case where the people who made, like, Legend sued Zelda because they said Zelda took I the idea, like, their storyline from the movie. And then Zelda was like, no, you took your thing from us because they came out, like, the first Zelda game came out, like, that year that the movie came out, well, like, 85, 86. I don't remember the year, but um, they came out the same year, and the Zelda people were like, hey, bruh, you, you, uh, you know, you stole that idea from us, but, yeah. Speaking of Zelda, you know, Zelda Williams, that's for Robin Williams' uh, daughter. And Robin Williams, he was, like, an amazing actor, and I really like him. And I think anyone who doesn't like Robin Williams, like, I don't know. I don't think they have a good taste. Man, why did I upgrade my axe so much and not, like, my armor? 
when I had last had a lot of tungsten or whatever this is. I think it's lead. Which I don't remember if that's the same thing as tungsten or not. But, yeah, um, you know how, like, Robin Williams, he was always in, like, the, the, uh, you know, the funny movies and stuff. But then, however, you know, like, many people don't know that he, uh, well, I don't know. I think it's pretty commonly known that he did, like, some dramas and stuff, too. And I watched it. I've seen one, and it was really good. I really, really liked it. Um, it was called What Dreams May Come. And it was, like, really cool because it was about this, uh, uh, I told this girl I was talking to you about this earlier. And no, it's not like that. I have a girlfriend. But, um, basically, it's this dude and his wife, and it kind of is, like, mostly told through flashbacks, but, uh, they, they, well, no, it's not mostly told through flashbacks. The first part is that they, like, meet in, like, uh, like, Lake Geneva. Well, he's boating, and he crashes into her boat, and blah, 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 lovey-dovey, lovey-dovey stuff. Yeah, that looks freaky down there. And then, so they get fall in love, get married, and then they uh, and then they have two kids and one son and one daughter. Well, it's hard to tell them apart because they both have really short hair. I guess that's what people did in the late nineties. And then they both die in a car accident. Both the kids, not both the parents, both of the kids die in an accident and it's really sad and the mom like turns almost suicidal she self-harms and stuff um and it's a it's a bad situation and so then eventually the uh the dad the main character robin williams he um he's able to snap her out of it by just basically just like being there for her supporting her and stuff and then you fast forward like two years and they make like a basically an anniversary of their kid's death which isn't, like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not trying to imply that at all. Like, I think it's a really interesting way to do things. They basically celebrate the day, which is, I don't, I don't know. It's weird, but it's also, like, I think it's a cool idea. Like, I'm, if I lost someone, if I was to die, I wouldn't want people to be sad about it. I want them to be happy, and I think that's the way lots of people feel. Like, I seriously want a party thrown at my funeral. I don't know about that, but, yeah, actually I do. But anyways... So then the, uh, during the, this is going a little over on time probably, by the way, but I don't care, I'm having fun. So then the, um, the, the dude guy, <laughs> Robin Williams, um, where's that, it's just like a random hole in the lighting and, and the backdrop. Um, so then he, he's coming home from work on this day of this anniversary, and he's like a psychologist, so he's a doctor, he's educated, he's well trained in medical fields. All of a sudden, he sees this wreck at the entrance to this tunnel ahead of him. He's about to go, like, through this tunnel in the mountains, because they live in a very mountainous area, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really read that far into that part of the plot. But So then he, he sees this accident, and he gets out, and he goes up, and he tries, like, talking to the person through the window because their car is upside, upside down. I don't think he can reach them. I don't really think much happens there. All of a sudden, though, he turns around, and there's a car that comes and hits him. So he, he dies. Basically, yeah, he gets hit by a car and dies, and it, like, pisses you off, and you're like, what the hell? This was, like, happy, and then now we're sad again. And so then, I mean, it was already sad, but... So then he dies. He goes to heaven, and he has a guardian angel dude who um, was, like, one of his former mentors uh, when he was in college and whatnot. And this guy, this guy helps him, and he's like, you know, you, you, he basically shows him you have this whole world, and it's like a world that his wife, his wife was like a painter and stuff. Um, and so it's a whole world that his wife had painted, and now he's living inside of it as his own personal heaven. Because he was a good guy, he was a really good guy in life. But then, he's watching his wife, and he's trying to figure out how he can be in touch with her, and he tries to get in touch with her, and she can kind of hear him, but it just freaks her out more, and so eventually he gives up. And says, I'll wait for you, you know, and then eventually you'll be here with me. But then he finds out, and so he's happy. And so then it's happy again. And then he finds out that she has killed herself. And it's really dark. And so then he, he, um, he basically goes on a mission to save her. To go all the way to, uh, to the, like, depths of hell, basically. And save her and bring her back to live with him in heaven. So it's it's really interesting, but anyway, so that's I find it interesting. It's a really cool story, and also yeah. So well, for, let me just take a second. Okay. Mm, 
bunny pit. I mean, sure, but... Anyways, yeah, it was a really good movie. Um, Bunny Fish, sure, dude. No, but, uh, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, and it was very dramatic and stuff, and then at the end, it was kind of, there was a little bit of action and stuff. It wasn't really, like, fighting or anything, but it was action and conflict, and it was, it was good. But, um, yeah, Robin Williams, he was a very, he's a very good, he was a very good drama actor. And also, What Dreams May Come, if you didn't know, that's actually a quote from a Shakespeare uh, play um, from Hamlet. He says, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. It's part of his to be or not to be speech, actually, if you didn't know that. <coughs> Everyone's heard that, but lots of people don't know it. So, he goes, to be or not to be, that is the question, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of trouble and by opposing in them. To die to sleep no more, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil. So anyways, it's talking about suicide, which is one of the main themes of the movie, so you can see why. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you, hope, once I got like going and stuff, I had a good bit of rambling to do and stuff. Um, normally, I, th I was saying that I wouldn't, but uh, I did. Oh, a G. That looks weird. It's not as good as mine though is it it is it's better hmm. it's expensive though um <laughs> that's funny increases wall placement speed uh, all right well nothing really interesting there i'll go sort through this stuff off the camera but thank you guys for watching and listening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my blabbering once I got onto a good topic and got a good reel going and talking about actors and movies and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys for more next time. Leave an extra big like, which you can't do, but leave a comment too and stuff. Because this is like the revitalization of a older series that it's not old. It's just I haven't been doing it for a while. So thank you guys and goodbye.